another day, another Switch ounce leak. And yes, it's called the Switch Ounce, not the Switch 2, not the Switch Pro, not the new Switch XL. I'm tired of everybody acting like we don't have a code name for this thing already. It's called the Switch Ounce. It was leaked about a week and a half ago thanks to that Game Freak leak. And if you don't know why, you can check out the video in the description. I already posted a video about it talking about the whole thing. But nobody wants to act like it happened. It's called the Ounce. But that's neither here nor there. What we're going to talk about today is the very first game leak for this Switch Ounce. And the way that this new information is revealed is eerily similar to the way that the old Nintendo Switch got their first game revealed. Let's take it way back. I'm talking about maybe a year or two before the first Switch came out. In 2015, the Switch was just known as the Nintendo NX, and Square Enix held this event where they were showing off Dragon Quest X and XI, and they kind of just casually revealed that it would be one of the first games for the console itself. And to my knowledge, this was the very first game revealed for the Nintendo Switch, and it followed suit with things like Sonic Forces, I believe, and a couple other titles. But today we have a very similar thing happening with the Nintendo Ounce, or the Switch 2, whatever you want to call it. Playtonic Games, the company responsible for making the ukulele games, they came out today and they announced a new title in the series. I'm not really a fan of the series itself, but what's really important is what they show at the end of the trailer that they just dropped. You got PS5, Xbox, PC, and Nintendo. Not Switch, just Nintendo with some eyeballs on top of that. And that's kind of suspicious if you ask me, because why wouldn't they just call it the Switch? If you ask me, that tells me that Nintendo is pretty much giving out dev kits to these developers, but they're not giving them permission to announce the console just yet, which is great news for us because it kind of shows that we're getting a little bit closer to the reveal of this bad boy. So that's good news. But who would have thought that Ukulele would be the first Switch 2 game or Switch Ounce game, excuse me, to be revealed. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, and they even followed up with that with another tweet saying, as well as PC, Yuka Replay Lee will also be on PS5, Xbox, and Nintendo again. So this isn't a coincidence. They said Nintendo again and they added more eye emojis. They know what they're doing. Slaytonic, y'all know what y'all niggas are doing, bro. So this has got to be the Switch Ounce, in my opinion. This is like the first official revealed game, unless you want to count that like Gen 10 Pokemon game or whatever. But this is kind of crazy. So if you ask me, this thing's going to be revealed pretty damn soon. Whether or not it's from a Nintendo Direct or some other method, you never know with Nintendo. After COVID, they just kind of been a weird, like, dark horse in the race. They don't really, they're unpredictable, you know? You can't really predict that shit. And if you're still not convinced that Nintendo's ramping up the development of the Switch Ounce thing, there's a rumor from PH Brazil where they said that Nintendo's courting third-party devs to do remasters on Switch 1 to make up for Nintendo's own team being busy with the Switch 2. PH Brazil reiterates what was previously said about remasters for a GameCube game and a 3DS game. We don't know what that GameCube game will be and we don't know what that 3DS game will be because they didn't say which games. But he also mentioned some third party games that'll get remasters on Switch 1 in 2025, which is interesting because when I hear 3DS remaster or GameCube remaster, I automatically think about Kid Icarus Uprising and Kirby Air Ride, but especially with that stuff that Sakurai said recently about how he was working on a new project. Man, if some way we could get a Kirby Air Ride remaster or a Kid Icarus remaster, I would go crazy because those games were so good. If you think those games were good, man, let me know in the comments because a lot of people don't fuck with uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, but man, I love that title. But what do y'all niggas think? Do you think we're going to get an official announcement anytime soon? We're definitely due for another Nintendo Direct before this year ends, but do you think we're going to get an announcement of the ounce? I don't know. Definitely by next year, at maybe quarter one, but... Only time will tell. That's going to do it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Take care of yourselves. Focus on what matters. I'm out. Stay.